with the snake that shed its skin. I've brought up on pretty much the past few live streams. Now it's time to show you that snake since it has finally shed. But the snake does not like to stay in the bucket. There we go, Ralph the black neck spitting cobra, named after Ralph. As I mentioned, doesn't like to stay in the bucket. The snake is very wiggly. So this could be the live stream that, that you all have been waiting for. Oh, yeah, you like the title, Ralph? But let's look at this snake under, it's not, it's not red on this one, but some have very, very bright red on the bottom of the hood. Now I'm going to set the camera back up so I can hold the snake with the hook and talk. But now I have to repeat what I said at the beginning because nobody was in here. I have brought this snake up the past few live streams. So, since the snake finally shed, time to show y'all. Ralph the Black Neck Spinning Cobra. One of the snakes that I'm very excited to get bigger because these get large. Seven foot or so. Another snake that I'm really looking forward to grow nice and big is the Banded Snouted Cobra because they get big as well. Usually, you know, it's a little sad. These cobras are so cute when they're little babies. But again, these, those two that I mentioned, very excited to watch grow. And Ralph is growing nice and big very quickly, too. And many of you know, Ralph typically causes me problems. Not the person, Ralph, but the snake, because he likes to spit occasionally. It's not often, so don't get me wrong. Just because I say that, doesn't mean it's often, occasionally. And one of the times was right in my mouth. Yeah, Ralph is actually, even though he's wiggly, generally pretty chill. But one of the, I'd say, after the forest cobra, the most wiggly one I have. A lot of times just all over the place and trying to even get it in this container. Um, he just likes to come back up out of it. But still, what an awesome snake. Now, Ralph, uh, you had mentioned that there is black neck spitter hybrid with some other species. I can't remember, was it the Mozambique spitting cobra? But some black neck spitters, like I mentioned, are very, very dark, like jet black. This one, it's, I don't know how to describe it. It's not as dark as some of them. And that's what we were discussing, that it might be a hybrid with the other species. Let's see if... Ralph, what was the, the species that you said that um, there's hybrids of? Is it the Mozambique spitting cobra? And the black neck spitter. But yeah, still beautiful, but I really love. I don't even know how to say that the ashy spitting cobra, Naja ashy. Yeah, I forgot what it was. But yep. But yeah, since this one is a little bit more dull, that's what led us to discuss that. But still, very beautiful. Love the dark ones much more. Can't lie. But Ralph is still awesome. And to talk about what Pey Peyton me uh, mentioned about Ralph being pretty chill for a black neck spitter. There was an adult that I worked with that was very, very laid back like, like Annie, the banded son of Cobra. That, that calm. And Viper Keeper, back in the day, I don't know if he still has it, had a black neck spitting cobra that was really laid back too. But I showed you all a lot of beautiful snakes when I went to visit Colin and he actually got some new additions. Very beautiful. Bothrops. A spitalaps. Um yeah, the the Bothrops, Colin, is it? It's not baby, baby, is it? 
Now, Bothrops are the South American pit vipers, you know, like the Fur de Lance is one. Um, and they have a reputation for being very chaotic, very defensive. And I believe so far that one's just been flighty for you, right, Colin? Yeah, the, that one looks so beautiful too. And it's really, I bet it's uh, difficult to s tell the true colors of that snake on the video. Because on the video it kind of looks, I don't even know how to describe it, cream colored. But I'm sure it looks much different in person. Two foot. Has it struck though? And the Aspidolops, which is the coral cobra. It's a female, you said, that's very defensive, right? So, different personalities. But some new snakes that next time I visit Colin, I'll have to get some more footage of those snakes. But let's see if you could see the... You see that? Now, the ones that had the really red underneath... Should have had the common name Redneck Spitting Cobra, huh? Am I right? But wow, what an awesome snake. Ralph, the Black Neck Spitting Cobra. I just had to show y'all because mentioned at every single live stream, the past, what, three live streams? Since I saw that shed skin. And guys, it was perfect except for the head. The head portion, of course, was separated. He always has to do something, huh? But still really cool. Cobras love to rip up their shed skin. You can ask Colin if you're not there right at the moment that they shed. They're probably going to go through it and rip it up. And honestly, um, Peyton and Colin, Magma, the variable bush viper, shed her skin. And I do have a feeling that she's gravid. I might be wrong, but I've, I don't know, I keep going in there all day, like sporadically, just expecting to see babies. But we'll see. Hopefully there will be some babies. Yeah, and I'm hoping... I'm hoping I'm right, Peyton, and that I go in at the right moment and capture some footage of magma giving birth. We'll see. Jesse, what's going on, man? Now, congratulations to Jesse. You know Jesse, the one that loves Annie, the banded sound of cobra, the one that has so many beautiful animals, retics, false water cobra, uh, masa. I can't even say that word, Masaruna, <laughs> but he and his beautiful wife had a child, and you know, Hannah and I, and even Colin is going to have a kid soon, but I was talking about Magma, Jesse. Magma, I have a feeling, is actually gravid, so we'll see. Masarana, Masaruna. I always say, I've, I don't even know if I've ever said it out loud. But yeah, he is a piebald one that's incredible. And there's actually... Alan, look at this. See, this is the best part. So many people in here that have a lot of beautiful animals. Just awesome people in general. Alan is just um, another one. Another friend that I met through here. Has a lot of awesome, beautiful animals. Alan even tried to do the inverting of the shed skin, I believe, with one of his timber rattlesnakes. And that's cool too. You guys know I love to do the inverting using the tweezers. Magma is beautiful. Last I saw her, I think she is too. Yeah, last time on the live stream, well, she, sh she shed since then. And I don't know, the way she looks. It's looking like it might happen. Hopefully it does. 
Have you tried to invert a shed, Sun Sun? Colin, you're off work today, aren't you? And Jesse, how's the sleep been going with the newborn? Lack of sleep? Or is she pretty good? Oh, nice. Hope you have fun, man. Be safe. Good, Jesse. I'm glad to hear that, man. Ralph, are you still in here? Awesome. Well, if you did try it again, let me know. Alan also has a very beautiful monocle cobra uh, that has a very, very beautiful monocle pattern. It's almost, to me, looks like a C. Is there responses to you, Ralph? Ralph is going to feed his beautiful... Uh, Pumpkin, the black spitting cobra. I know these common names can get confusing. My, people might just think I'm saying black spitting cobra, describing the color, but that's a common name for the snake that he has. Beautiful spitting cobra that is jet black. Pumpkin is the name of his. And if you go on my page and look up the most beautiful baby cobra, I think that's the title. Um, you can see Pumpkin, incredible snake, but she's about to shed her skin, and Ralph's going to feed Tigro, which is tiger phase variable bush viper. The cytotoxins in this snake can kill 45 elephants. You hear that? 45 elephants. If it gets in your eye, you will be gone. Do you have an ins Yeah, he does. 